We are now inside the Nicolina Chapel, the private chapel of the Pope. The Vatican, the heart of the Catholic Church, is not only a place of holiness and religious devotion but also a repository of countless secrets and mysteries. From ancient relics to hidden chambers and controversial artifacts, the Vatican vaults hold a wealth of intriguing and sometimes disturbing discoveries. One of the most mysterious and unsettling artifacts housed within the Vatican's collection is the Codex Gigas, also known as the Devil's Bible. This massive medieval manuscript, believed to have been created in the early 13th century, is the largest known medieval manuscript in the world. The Codex Gigas contains a complete Bible as well as additional texts, including exorcism instructions and a depiction of the devil himself. Legend has it that the manuscript was written by a monk who, facing execution for breaking his monastic vows, promised to create a book containing all human knowledge in a single night. As midnight approached, the monk realized the impossibility of his task and turned to the devil for assistance. The devil agreed to help, and the monk was able to complete the manuscript, hence its nickname, the Devil's Bible. The Codex Gigas is renowned not only for its size and the eerie legend surrounding its creation but also for the striking image of the devil that appears within its pages. The devil is depicted as a large dark figure with horns and a forked tongue, surrounded by mysterious text. This unsettling image has led many to speculate about the true nature and purpose of the Codex Gigas, with some suggesting it may have been used in ancient rituals or dark magic practices. Another intriguing mystery linked to the Vatican revolves around the Nephilim, an ancient biblical race of giants born from the union of angels and humans, and the rare Rh negative blood type. According to some theories, the Vatican may possess knowledge or even evidence of a connection between the Nephilim and individuals with Rh negative blood. Rh negative blood lacks the rhesus factor, a protein found on the surface of red blood cells in most people. The absence of this protein has led to speculation that Rh negative individuals may have a unique genetic heritage, possibly linked to the Nephilim. One of the most intriguing and persistent rumors surrounding the Vatican involves the alleged existence of a real, live angel being held captive within its walls. According to this mysterious tale, the Vatican has managed to capture and restrain an actual celestial being, keeping it chained and hidden away from the eyes of the world. The story of the chained angel has captured the imagination of many, with some claiming that the Vatican's possession of such a divine being could provide definitive proof of the existence of angels and the supernatural realm. Others speculate that the chained angel may hold invaluable knowledge or power that the church seeks to control or harness for its own purposes. Despite the lack of concrete evidence to support the existence of a chained angel within the Vatican, the legend has persisted for centuries. Some accounts claim that the angel is held in a secret chamber deep beneath the Vatican, bound by ancient magic or divine restraints to prevent its escape. Others suggest that the angel may be a prisoner of war, captured during a celestial battle and held as a trophy or bargaining chip by the church. The disappearance of Emanuela Orlandi, a young Vatican citizen in 1983, has become one of the most enduring and haunting mysteries linked to the Holy See. Emanuela, the daughter of a Vatican employee, vanished without a trace after attending a music lesson in Rome. Her disappearance sparked a decades-long investigation marked by conspiracy theories, alleged cover-ups, and a peculiar connection to an angel statue. In 2019, a tip led investigators to two tombs in the Teutonic Cemetery within the Vatican walls, where Emanuela's remains were thought to be hidden. However, when the tombs were opened, they were found to be completely empty, deepening the mystery surrounding her disappearance. The investigation took a bizarre turn when a photograph of an angel statue pointing towards the empty tomb surfaced. The statue, which had been placed in the cemetery years after Emanuela's disappearance, seemed to be directing attention to the very spot where her remains were believed to be concealed. This peculiar coincidence fueled speculation that the statue might hold a vital clue to solving the mystery. One of the most extraordinary and controversial claims surrounding the Vatican's hidden secrets involves the alleged presence of extraterrestrial technology within its vaults. Some conspiracy theorists and UFO enthusiasts believe that the Vatican has been hiding evidence of alien civilizations and their advanced technologies for centuries, keeping this knowledge secret from the public. According to these theories, the Vatican's extensive collection of ancient artifacts and manuscripts may include items of extraterrestrial origin, such as advanced technological devices, spacecraft remnants, or even the remains of alien beings. 
Proponents of this idea suggest that the Church has been aware of the existence of extraterrestrial life for a long time and has chosen to suppress this information to maintain its power and control over the masses. Some of the most persistent rumors involve the Vatican's alleged possession of advanced energy devices, anti-gravity technology, and even time travel capabilities that have been reverse-engineered from alien artifacts. These claims often cite the Vatican's strict control over access to its archives and the secretive nature of its inner workings as evidence of a cover-up. The Doctrine of Discovery is a series of historical papal decrees that granted European Christian nations the right to conquer and claim lands inhabited by non-Christians. These decrees, issued during the 15th and 16th centuries, played a significant role in shaping the colonization of the Americas and other parts of the world by European powers. The doctrine of discovery has been a source of controversy and criticism for centuries, with many arguing that it provided a legal and moral justification for the exploitation, enslavement, and genocide of indigenous peoples. The decrees essentially declared that non-Christian lands were open to conquest and that the indigenous inhabitants had no legitimate claim to their own territories. The impact of the doctrine of discovery has been far-reaching and long-lasting, with many indigenous communities still struggling to assert their rights and reclaim their ancestral lands. The legacy of colonialism and the dispossession of native peoples can be traced back to the principles outlined in these papal decrees. Deep beneath the majestic St. Peter's Basilica lies a hidden chamber shrouded in mystery and darkness, the secret papal exorcism room. This chamber, concealed from public knowledge, is said to be specially designed and equipped for performing exorcisms, the ancient ritual of driving out evil spirits from individuals believed to be possessed. The existence of this secret chamber has long been a subject of fascination and speculation among those interested in the Vatican's hidden secrets. According to rumors, the room is adorned with ancient religious symbols, holy relics, and other powerful spiritual artifacts believed to aid in the exorcism process. Some accounts suggest that the chamber has been used by popes and high-ranking clergy members to perform exorcisms on individuals who are deemed to be under the influence of demonic forces. These rituals are said to be highly secretive and are only conducted in the most extreme cases of suspected possession. The catacombs of the lost cardinals are rumored to be the final resting place of cardinals who vanished under suspicious circumstances. These catacombs are said to hold the secret of some of the church's most enigmatic disappearances. According to legend, the catacombs were used to inter cardinals who met untimely and unexplained ends, often in connection with political intrigues, power struggles, or theological disputes within the church. The bodies of these lost cardinals were allegedly laid to rest in unmarked tombs, their names and stories buried along with them in the dark, damp tunnels beneath the Vatican. Some whisper that the catacombs of the lost cardinals may also contain evidence of foul play or even murder, with the Vatican using the underground network as a means to cover up scandals and silence those who threaten to expose its darker secrets. Deep within the Vatican's vast archives, there is said to exist a secret library containing a collection of forbidden books. This hidden library, known as the Library of Forbidden Books, is rumored to house works that challenge the very foundations of Christianity and the Church's teachings. Among the volumes allegedly contained within this secret library are ancient Gnostic Gospels, heretical writings, and other apocryphal texts that present alternative versions of biblical events and teachings. These books, some of which date back to the early days of Christianity, were suppressed by the Church for centuries, deemed too subversive or blasphemous for the faithful. In addition to religious texts, the Library of Forbidden Books is also rumored to contain works on occult practices, demonology, and other esoteric subjects that the Church has long sought to keep hidden from the public eye. Some even speculate that the library may hold grimoires and spell books, ancient tomes that contain powerful incantations and rituals. The Apostolic Palace, the official residence of the Pope, is not only a place of grandeur and religious significance but also the site of a chilling supernatural mystery. According to legend, the ghost of Pope Alexander VI, a notorious Borgia Pope known for his corrupt and scandalous reign, haunts the halls of the palace. Witnesses claim to have seen the spectral figure of Alexander VI roaming the corridors, his presence often accompanied by an inexplicable chill and an overwhelming sense of dread. Some even report hearing the faint whispers of the deceased Pope, his words echoing through the ancient halls like a sinister reminder of his dark legacy. The ghostly appearances of Alexander VI are said to be most frequent during times of turmoil or scandal within the church, leading some to believe that his spirit is drawn to the energy of corruption and discord. 
Others speculate that the Pope's restless soul may be seeking redemption or attempting to atone for the sins of his past. Among the many treasures and artifacts held within the Vatican's vaults, there is said to be a cursed relic with a dark and troubling history, the 30 pieces of silver paid to Judas Iscariot for his betrayal of Jesus Christ. According to legend, these silver coins, known as the cursed relic of Judas, carry a powerful and malevolent curse that brings misfortune and torment to those who possess them. The story of the cursed relic has been passed down through the centuries, with many claiming that the Vatican has kept the coins hidden away to protect the world from their evil influence. Some believe that the mere presence of the relic within the Holy See has been responsible for the various scandals, crises, and dark episodes that have plagued the Church throughout its history. Rumors suggest that those who have come into contact with the cursed relic of Judas have experienced a range of disturbing phenomena, from vivid nightmares and inexplicable illnesses to sudden bouts of madness and even violent outbursts. Some even claim that the coins emit an eerie, unholy glow, and that the faint whispers of Judas himself can be heard emanating from them. Throughout the long and often turbulent history of the papacy, rumors have circulated about the use of papal doppelgangers, lookalikes who stand in for the Pope during public appearances and events. According to some theories, these doppelgangers have been employed by the Vatican as a means of protecting the Pope from assassination attempts and other threats to his life. The idea of papal doppelgangers has been fueled by a number of historical accounts and alleged sightings of multiple popes in different locations at the same time. Some conspiracy theorists even suggest that the Vatican has maintained a secret program of recruiting and training individuals who bear a striking resemblance to the Pope, ready to step in and take his place at a moment's notice. One of the most famous cases of a supposed papal doppelganger involves Pope Paul VI, who was rumored to have been replaced by an imposter during the latter years of his papacy. Proponents of this theory point to changes in the Pope's appearance, demeanor, and even his ring as evidence that a switch had taken place. In the depths of the Vatican's secret archives, whispers of a mysterious project have long captured the imagination of conspiracy theorists and researchers alike. Known as the Vatican Time Machine Project, this alleged endeavor is said to involve a sophisticated device capable of peering into the past and future, allowing the Church to witness and even influence the course of history. According to some accounts, the Vatican has been secretly developing this technology for decades, drawing upon a combination of ancient texts, cutting-edge science, and even extraterrestrial knowledge. The exact nature of the device remains a mystery, with some speculating that it may be a form of advanced quantum computer, while others believe it to be a mystical artifact imbued with supernatural powers. Proponents of the Vatican Time Machine Project theory point to various historical events and prophesize as evidence of the device's existence and its potential impact on the world. Some claim that the Church has used the time machine to witness biblical events firsthand, such as the crucifixion of Jesus Christ or the parting of the Red Sea. Others suggest that the device may have been employed to alter the course of history, ensuring the survival and dominance of the Catholic Church throughout the centuries. Within the closely guarded vaults of the Vatican, there is said to exist a comprehensive archive documenting the countless miracles and paranormal events that have been reported and investigated by the Church throughout its long history. This secret repository, known as the Archive of Miracles and Paranormal Activity, is rumored to contain a wealth of information on unexplained phenomena, from accounts of divine interventions and apparitions to cases of demonic possession and supernatural occurrences. According to some researchers, the archive is meticulously organized and maintained, with detailed records and artifacts associated with each reported miracle or paranormal event. These files allegedly include eyewitness testimonies, physical evidence, and even scientific analyses conducted by church-appointed investigators. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Archive of Miracles and Paranormal Activity is the suggestion that it may contain evidence of events that defy conventional explanations, such as levitation, bilocation, or even encounters with extraterrestrial beings. Some theorize that the Vatican has been carefully studying these phenomena for centuries, seeking to understand their nature and potential implications for the Church's teachings and beliefs. Among the many legendary artifacts rumored to be in the Vatican's possession, few are as intriguing and controversial as the Seal of Solomon. This ancient signet ring, believed to have belonged to the biblical King Solomon, is said to possess immense power over demons and other supernatural entities. According to legend, the Seal of Solomon was imbued with the power to command and control demons, allowing the wise king to harness their knowledge and abilities for his own purposes. The ring is often depicted as featuring a complex geometric design, 
possibly representing the intricate magic and wisdom of Solomon himself. Rumors have long circulated that the Vatican has secretly acquired the seal of Solomon and keeps it hidden away within its vaults, using its power to exert control over demonic forces and protect the church from supernatural threats. Some even speculate that the Vatican has employed the ring in covert exorcisms and rituals, wielding its power to banish evil spirits and maintain the balance between the earthly and spiritual realms. Deep beneath the streets of Vatican City, a startling discovery is rumored to have been made during secret archaeological excavations, a perfectly preserved ancient Roman pagan temple. This hidden underground sanctuary, complete with ornate statues of deities and elaborate sacrificial altars, is said to have been stumbled upon by Vatican officials decades ago, prompting a covert operation to explore and ultimately conceal its existence from the public eye. The presence of a pagan temple beneath the very heart of the Catholic Church has raised uncomfortable questions and sparked wild speculation among those who have caught wind of its existence. Some suggest that the Vatican's decision to keep the discovery hidden is rooted in a desire to avoid the potential scandal and doctrinal challenges that could arise from acknowledging the pagan history lying literally beneath its feet. Theories abound as to the specific deities worshipped within this subterranean sanctuary, with some claiming that the temple may have been dedicated to powerful gods such as Jupiter, Mars, or even the mysterious Mithras, whose cult was popular among Roman soldiers. The discovery of such a well-preserved pagan site could potentially offer invaluable insights into the religious practices and beliefs of ancient Rome, shedding light on a time when Christianity had yet to take hold as the dominant faith. In a dark corner of the Vatican's vast art collection, a haunting portrait is said to hang, its subject a mysterious and infamous figure known as the Antipope. According to legend, this cursed painting, created during a time of great schism and upheaval within the church, is imbued with a malevolent power that brings misfortune and despair to those who gaze upon it. The Antipope, a rival claimant to the papal throne who challenged the authority of the legitimate Pope, is depicted in the portrait as a gaunt and sinister figure, his eyes seeming to follow the viewer with an unsettling intensity. Over the centuries, the painting is said to have taken on a life of its own, its colors fading and its canvas cracking as if mirroring the decay and corruption of the antipope's legacy. Whispers among Vatican insiders suggest that the cursed portrait is kept hidden away, its existence known only to a select few who have been charged with the burden of its safekeeping. Some even claim that the painting itself is a source of discord and division within the church, its very presence a reminder of the dark chapters in the Vatican's history that many would prefer to forget. In the crypts beneath the Vatican, a mysterious sarcophagus is said to hold the remains of Saint Malachi, an Irish saint and prophet from the 12th century. According to legend, Saint Malachi was gifted with a divine vision that allowed him to foresee the succession of popes from his time until the end of days, a prophetic sequence known as the Prophecy of the Popes. The Prophecy of the Popes is a series of 112 cryptic Latin phrases, each believed to describe a particular pope and the events that would unfold during their reign. The final prophecy in the sequence is said to predict the coming of the last pope, known as Peter the Roman, whose reign would coincide with the destruction of Rome and the end of the world as we know it. In the depths of the Vatican's archives, a shocking discovery is rumored to have been made, a long-lost gospel attributed to Saint Peter, one of the most prominent figures in early Christianity. This ancient text, known as the Lost Gospel of Peter, is said to contain a radically different account of Jesus' life, teachings, and the very foundations of the Christian faith. According to whispers among scholars and conspiracy theorists, the lost Gospel of Peter presents a narrative that diverges significantly from the canonical Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Some claim that this alternative Gospel portrays Jesus in a more human light, emphasizing his struggles, doubts, and the more esoteric aspects of his teachings. As the eyes of the world turn to the Vatican during the sacred process of electing a new Pope, Whispers of a shadow conclave and mystical influences on papal succession have long haunted the halls of the Holy See. According to these rumors, a secretive group of excommunicated cardinals and bishops converges in the shadows during each conclave, working to shape the outcome of the papal election through arcane rituals and mystical practices. The members of this shadow conclave are said to be versed in ancient esoteric knowledge and possess a deep understanding of the spiritual forces that guide the Church. Some claim that they commune with angels and saints, seeking divine guidance in their efforts to steer the direction of the papacy. Others suggest that the shadow conclave may even engage in dark arts and occult practices, using their mystical powers to influence the hearts and minds of the voting cardinals.